The Battle of Thermopylae in 254 was the successful defense of the Pass of Thermopylae by local Greek militia under Marianus, the Roman proconsul of Achaia, during an invasion of the Balkans by the Goths. Chapter 1 Background In 254 the Goths invaded and plundered Thrace and Macedonia. In 1979, Herwig Wolfram regarded 254 as the date, while Mallon and Davenport in 2015 suggested 262. Goltz and Hartmann estimated 254 as the date. David Potter in 2016 rejected Mallon and Davenport's estimate, and dated it to either 253 or 259. The Goths attempted to storm Thessalonica with close order formations and assault columns. The Thessalonicans mobilized to defend their city and beat off the attacks. The Goths abandoned the siege and moved off to invade Greece south of Thermopylae, seeking to loot the gold and silver wealth of Greek temples. Chapter 2 Prelude The Greeks learned of the Goths' approach and the Roman proconsul Merianus, the Athenian Philostratus, and the Boeotian Dexippus mobilized a militia to block the pass of Thermopylae. The militia were armed with bronze or iron tipped wooden pikes, small spears, axes, and assorted weapons. They set to work fortifying the pass. Marianus gave a pre battle speech to them, emphasizing the defense of the pass by previous generations of Greeks and Romans. Chapter 3 Battle The Greco Roman forces successfully blocked the Goths' way at Thermopylae and the Goths returned home albeit with considerable loot. Chapter 4, Aftermath The engagement was recorded by the contemporary historian Dexippus. A fragment of his work, discovered in Vienna in 2010, provides detail on the weapons, leadership, and geography of the engagement. The fragment cuts off before the battle's outcome. Dexippus was used as a source by the Byzantine chronicler George Sinclus, who mentioned the blocking of the pass and the Goths' return home with plunder.